Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Sa lahat ng ating mga tagapakinig. Good evening to all our uh, brethren in the Lord here in uh, New Life Fellowship Hong Kong and also the saints in Macau. Praise God! Good evening in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God! Hallelujah! And we are going to greet Sister Del Enriquez. Praise God! She's watching with us together with Sister Beth. Praise God, Bernardo, watching from UPC Pamaldan, Kabatuan, Nueva Ecija. Good evening, Sister Beth. Praise God. And Sister Raquel Jibulan uh, from Putan Campos. Praise God. Sister Maria Luz Tagok. Good evening, Sister. Sister Miriam Mangadlao. Mayang gabi, idiha kanimo, Sister Ate Miriam. Praise God. Ang ginoo magapanalangin ka natong tanan. Yes, praise God. Hallelujah. And Sister Marlene Buhia with the Buhia family. Praise God in uh, Pingchao Island. Praise God. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, Ati Esther Ilandag. Praise God. Good evening also. And uh, Brother Ignacio Ilandag uh, needs a prayer. Praise God. It's coming Thursday. There is a uh, something, an operation. Praise God that everything will be fine. And let us bring it into prayer tonight. Praise God. Sister Sonia Iruda, watching from Kabiti. Praise God. Sister Ramirez Basting Maribik. Good evening. Praise God. Sister Sisa Samoy, together with Brother Admar. Good evening. Good evening. Praise God. Sister Grace Mulina Apat. Kindly share it tonight. Kindly have a uh, share it to your friends. Praise God. Or you can have a watch party. Praise God that while you are listening or you are doing still your works or your job in your employer's house. Maybe you are still in your kitchen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can uh, uh, you, you can do, you can still listen while you're working. Praise God. Or you can watch uh, a while. Praise God. Uh, while doing also your house tours. And Sister Aluna. Sister Aluna Chua. Mayang gabi ide, Sister Aluna. Praise God. Brother Admar. Good evening. Sister Jeannie Ticot. Praise God. Uh, Jum Jim. Praise God. Praise be to God. Sister Carmelita Ton, we are so blessed, Sister Carmi, of your living testimony last Sunday night. Praise God. Brother uh, Philip Contilio. Good evening, Brother Philip. Praise God. And uh, Sister Rakib. Uh, Mackenzie Fernandez. Sister Mackenzie Fernandez, when you are going to come back here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Tess Guba. Praise God. Good evening, Sister Tess Guba. Uh, si Andy. Maayong gabi ini ha. Di, main pagsuroy-suroy. Keep safe. Praise God. And Sister Marisa Lumbaca, good evening. And to all uh, the boarders in your apartment, praise God, our sisters. I know that uh, every one of them have already an employer and that's a victory report. Sister uh, Ems, praise God, watching from Saikong. Blessed Tuesday evening, praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Tess Rabang, TC Rabang, praise God. This is uh, one of our... Uh, always viewing our <laughs> online from Toronto, Canada. Sister Tess kindly shared it to all our sisters in Toronto. Sister Robilin, praise God. Good evening, Sister Robilin. And Sister Ping, praise God. Together with Carl, Kim, and Kisha, they're watching with me. And Iberine Galiasa, good evening, Sister Iberine. Sister Jane Torrente, good evening. Hermie Dungao, good evening, Sister Hermie. Uh, Impoy Dimple Sitor oh, Sister Dimple Praise God God bless you Sister Dimple Keep safe in the bow uh, Richie Conde Good evening Pastor Watching Northern Tip of Cebu UPC Maya Praise God Shout out Jan. Praise God Francisco Castelio Francis Castelio Is watching also with us And the Iskotin Brothers Pastor James Iskotin Pastor Fred Iskotin My classmates, praise God, in Bible school before 99, batch 1997. Praise God, they are watching tonight. Pastor Erwin Hirida, Pastor Nards Durero, Pastor Alan uh, and Ginny Soiko, Pastor Roy Tan, Sister Mera. Praise God, uh, Pastor Kayao, Pastor Gamayon. Praise God. And uh, our batch is so blessed. Praise God. All Most of us are in the field. Praise God of the ministry. Yes, Sister Ibon, good evening. Praise God. Hallelujah. And praise God. Who else? Praise God. Uh, I'm going to greet my mother. Praise God. Mami D. Yan sa buhol. My siblings also. Praise God. Uh, one of them is uh, already a pastor. Praise God. In Carmen Buhol. Buog. Carmen Buhol. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. And we greet them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Buhol family in Cagayan de Oro. Praise God. Uh, ministers in Northern Mindanao District. Uh, good evening. And Caraga District, Kumbal, Praise God District in the Southern Mindanao District. Uh, Agbunis family. Praise God. Pastor uh, Magno family and family. Good evening. Pastor Philip Mahadukon, praise God. We use your one of your song in our intro. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Philip. Praise God. And the Lord will bless the Together Church. Praise God. The Butuan Church. Praise God. And we greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, watching from Makati, Ipi Oracion. Praise God. God bless you always. Uh, mung mga abtik ng mga silingan. Praise God. <laughs> mga uh, amigohon ng mga kasilanganan. Sa tanang mga kaigsuunan nako diha sa buhol, sa tanang mga bisdak, maayong gabi ninyong tanan. And to all our friends also in Japan, good evening. They're watching with us tonight. Praise God. And uh, here we go. Praise God. We are going to uh, share tonight in this oracle. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's a very important thing. Praise God. Uh, the word of the Lord is the most important thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, without any further delay, praise God. Let us uh, read the word of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. In uh, the book of uh, 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord. Uh, Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in uh, God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the, the first letter of 1 Thessalonians, uh, should I say like it was sponsored by three persons, but actually some of the Bible scholars, uh, they attributed this uh, to Paul only as the writer of 1 Thessalonians. But if you look at the Uh, the heading of the his letter, Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of Thessalonians. So, three of them, as if like they are the sponsor of this letter, praise God. And verse 2, the Bible said, We give thanks to God always for you, all making mention of you in our prayers. So, as pastors and leaders, praise God, uh, making mention, it means you are going to say the name, not just in general. Sometimes we pray, Oh, bless, O oh Lord, the pastors in the Philippines. Yeah, it's it's also a good prayer, but what Paul was telling the Thessalonian church, they really mentioned their names in their prayers. And remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God our Father. Verse 4, Knowing, brethren, Beloved, your election of God. If you look at this line, the last line, your election of God. Praise God. I'm going to share this tonight titled, Your Election. Praise God. So, before anything else, praise God, we are going to uh, pray because prayer is one of the most important things. Praise God, before we are going to jump into this uh, lesson tonight. Hallelujah. So, shall we pray and let us bring uh, Brother Ignacio Ilandag. Praise God. Uh, let's pray that uh, there would be no complication. Everything will be smooth. Praise God. And if you have prayer requests, you can just uh, message me. And if I'm going to miss it, praise God, I'm going to review it and bring it to prayers. Praise God. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, of your goodness and mercy in my life, in our lives. Tonight, thank you for this opportunity. And I pray, O Lord, that you are going to bless the hearers and bless this lesson tonight that uh, you will give us an understanding of this uh, lesson, our election through you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. I, uh, I believe that you are going to uh, bless Brother Ignacio Ilandag. Lord, there would be no complication. Everything would be smooth. Praise God. Hallelujah. This coming Thursday, I pray, Lord God, that you will bless the doctors that will uh, take care of him. and provide their financial needs. Lord God, I pray also, praise God, hallelujah, tonight, uh, to all the ministers around the world, preachers, the apostolic faith, hallelujah, that you will 
always cover us, God, with your precious blood against these uh, diseases and sicknesses that is uh, roaming around, Lord Jesus. Bless New Life Fellowship. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. So, there are lit comers, praise God, in uh, in the comment section. Uh, Sister Joy Hinirali, good evening. Rake, uh, praise God. Juan Gonzalez, I think you came from Putan before. Praise God, we are praying for you. Sister Sonia King Kabahug Lagi and Maricel, good evening. Praise God. So, uh, tonight, praise God, uh, I'm going to share to you this very short lesson. These are, th th there are only 10 verses, praise God, that I'm going to share, okay? 10 verses. Hallelujah. So, the word election in this uh, uh, verse uh, comes from the Greek word eklogi. Eklogi. So the Tayer definition, praise God, gives this definition that it is an act of God's free will uh, by which before the foundation of the world, He decreed His blessings to certain persons. So the decree made from the choice by which He determined to bless certain persons through Christ by grace alone. So that is the word election. Praise God. Okay, election. The act of picking out or choosing. It is an act of God's free will by which before the foundation of the world, He decreed His blessings to certain persons. So the Bible, praise God, gives us a very nice assurance that we need to know this. He, Paul Silvanus and Timotheus wrote to the Thessalonian church, Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. Okay? Your election of God. Yung pagkahirang mo sa Diyos. Praise God. Ang Diyos ang naghirang sa iyo. So it is God who choose you and me, praise God, in this purpose. What I'm going to do tonight, praise God, is I will give you a uh, an illustration, a simple illustration. We have a, uh, what we call a political, praise God. Uh, what you call this? A political exercise or suffrage, or what we call the right to vote. So in the Philippines, we have the right to vote, a certain leader, praise God. So before you are going to elect, a certain leader of the town, of the province, or of our country, m most, praise God, of us will, uh, you know, know what is the background of the person, what is, what are his achievements, what are his platform in the government. Praise God. We, we always look, we have the tendency to look at, praise God, the, the background of the person, the integrity, his integrity, his track record. Praise God. And all of those, uh, you know, some of have uh, propagandas, some have uh, advertisement concerning their, their uh, intention to run in a certain office. So, we are who are voters, praise God, has a tendency to give our favor. We will lend our favor, praise God, to those candidates who have a nice track record, praise God, especially they have no cases about graft and corruption. And we choose them based on that uh, based on that fact or ba based on that uh, particular record. But I'm going to share you tonight that God elected you and we have no track record. We were sinners. Praise God. That's first and foremost. We're human. Comes from the dust. And the Bible said that there's nothing good inside of this, Paul said. And that is why David wrote a psalm that, What is man that thou art mindful of him? So if God elected you, if God chose you, if God picks you, picks you up, praise God, out of these billions of people, now it is grace. It is, it is not based on our track record. It is not based on who we are because we are, praise God, we, we are count. We, we are a failure, praise God, in the sight of God because of sin. Praise God. We, we are come short to the glory of God. That's for sure. That's what the Bible said. So tonight, praise God, allow me to share this. 
Hallelujah. Because if we're going to study the word election of God, you are elected, you, God choose you, praise God. We, we need to be careful of this because before the foundations of the world, God already decree a certain blessings to those persons. Praise God. And I'm going to share to you, uh, what should I say? I'm going to add more verses so that you will have a good understanding about this word. Okay? Remember that you and I have no track record that God would choose. Okay? You and I have no, praise God, uh, good report. Praise God. When we were in sin. Hallelujah. But anyway, before the foundation of the world, you are already in His mind. Your name is already in the palm of His hand. And that is absolutely incredible. And that is awesome. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, the word election in the Bible, if you are going to have a Bible concordance, these are the verses recorded in the New Testament concerning election. I'm going to share to you like the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. So if God choose you, no one dictates God but by himself. Now who is the counselor of God? His will. Praise God. So if God choose you and me, praise God, it's not based on our works. Because in this verse, there's a story between Esau and uh, Jacob or Isaac. Praise God. Esau and Jacob, should I say. The twins. While they were still in Rebekah's womb, they did not yet do, praise God, they, the Bible said, neither having done any good or evil, but the purpose of God according to election must stand, not of works, but of him that call it. Verse 12. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. The babies are still in the womb. Of Rebecca. Okay? It's still in the womb. Praise God. But the word of God told her that the elder will serve the younger. Now take it note. They have not done yet anything with their good or evil. But for the purpose of God's election so that his election might stand not of works but to the one who calls that the Bible said. Verse 13. And it is written, Jacob have I loved but Esau have I hated. They were not yet born. Now, remember this. They were not yet born. But in order that the election, the purpose of election might stand, God already chose Jacob, praise God, that Esau will serve him. And God said, I love Jacob. I hate Esau. I hope that you have an understanding tonight. Hallelujah. That these verses about the election Praise God will give us, hallelujah, an understanding that if God choose you, if God choose me, if I come to the point that I understand the gospel, not because of my ability, but it was because of the grace of God that this plan of salvation that I received, not of my ability, not of my background, not of my track record, praise God, it is because of His grace. It is because God calls you before the foundation of the world. Praise God. Here is another verse, praise God, in Romans 11.5. Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Now this chapter talks about, praise God, Israel. The, the, the partial blindness of the Jewish people that the, uh, concerning the gospel. For the gospel, they become an enemy, praise God. But the Bible said, even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Hallelujah. So, there are certain people that God take away the veil so that they can know and they will, praise God, receive also the plan of salvation through grace. Hallelujah. And it is based on His uh, election. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seek it for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Do you see that? The rest were blinded, but for those uh, who seek it, the will of God, uh, for those, uh, 
what Paul said, What then Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, praise God, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the remnant will be saved, praise God, in the last, if you are going to read the whole chapter there, praise God, hallelujah. And this is what the Bible said in verse 28, As concerning the gospel, they, the, they are enemies for your sake, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. So of all the nations of the world, God elected, God chose Israel, God chose Jacob. And concerning the gospel, concerning the plan of salvation like repentance, water baptism, or receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, until now, more of the Israelites, they are blinded of it. Praise God. They are enemies for your sake. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. So, Paul reminded us and reminded the Thessalonian church, knowing, praise God, knowing. So the word knowing in the original text in the Hebrew is ido or I do. To perceive with the eyes, to perceive by any of the senses, uh, to notice, to discern or to discover. You need to discern or to discover. You need to, you need to understand, you need to study, praise God that you are being elected by God. You, God choose you. That is why uh, we need to be careful about this election. We need to be, uh, what the Bible said, make your election sure. Praise God. That is in uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. He said, Wherefore rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Praise God. And for... If ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If ye do this, ye shall never fall. I have uh, uh, discussed these verses, previous verses, uh, when I preached on that Sunday. Uh, what you call that? The title was Beating Barrenness. Okay? So, we should be diligent. We should make our calling and election sure. Praise God, because if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So to those who are being elected and they, they did not give diligence to the calling and election, they will fall. Praise God. That, that is just the uh, principle there. Praise God. Hallelujah. So there are four areas of the gospel that we receive. Okay. The gospel comes to our light. By the grace of God. Maybe preacher come to your home or you were being saved here in abroad. Some Someone shared to you, praise God, the power of the word of God, should I say. Praise God. So the gospel, remember that the gospel we receive, hallelujah, have four areas. We receive the word, of course, the gospel must be preached. So we hear the word because faith cometh by hearing. And the gospel brings power, Holy Ghost, and much assurance. Okay? Praise God. So Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 tells us, and Paul, Silvanus, and Timotheus, um, should I say, they, they wrote a letter to the Thessalon Thessalonican uh, believers. Why we should know, why we should discern this election that comes from God. He said, for our gospel came not unto you in word only. Okay. We, we must always remember that in our local church, it's not just preaching. It's not just teaching. The gospel came to us also in power. Okay? Number three, in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance. I repeat it again. The gospel that we receive, the gospel came to us, praise God, in not just in word only. Of course, it came by word, praise God, through preaching and teaching. But it also arrived with power in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance. As you know, what manner of men we were among you for your sake, praise God. So, let us, to follow God is to follow His leader above us. Paul explains this in verse 6, okay? And ye came, and ye became followers of us. After the gospel came, not just in word, 
but in power and in Holy Ghost and in much assurance, assurance, Paul said, and ye became followers of us. He did not say, you became a follower of me because the letter was sponsored by three persons. Okay, I have told you a while ago that this first Thessalonian letter, praise God, was came from Paul, Silvanus, and Timotheus. So that's why he said in verse 6, and ye came, and ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy and of the Holy Ghost. I repeat it again. Praise God. To follow God is to follow His leader above us. Praise God. Hindi pwedeng sabihin mo na, I follow God but I cannot follow my pastor. I cannot follow my group leader. Praise God. So you cannot just say, Oh, I follow God but I don't want to follow the pastor. I don't want to follow the leaders. I don't want to follow the coordinators. No. Praise God. To follow God is to follow His leader above us. Praise God. And... He said also, this election involves a response. I repeat, I repeat it again. This election involves a response to tribulations, which is joy in the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Meron siyang kaakibat, mga kapatid. Let's read it again. Ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. So, Paul, Silvanus, and Timotheus told the Thessalonian church, you become followers of us and of the Lord. So there are two here. We need to follow the Lord and we need to follow our spirit, spiritual leaders in our local church. Praise God. I repeat it again. Follow your spiritual leaders, obey, submit yourselves, as you also obey and submit to the Lord. You, you cannot just do one part. This must be two parts. Okay? And Paul, Silvanus, and Timotheus, I repeat it again, ye become followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Ghost. Did you see the picture? The, the, the church in Thessalonica, praise God, is uh, one of the persecuted church. They received the word, they received the gospel, yet, the people of the society rejected them. Praise God. The people of the society, praise God, cut the access for them. The benefits for them. Praise God. So the people in their society just mocked them because of the gospel. But anyway, the Bible said, they received the word. They received the word in much affliction. Praise God. Hallelujah. With joy of the Holy Ghost. That is the only good thing. That it if the gospel only arrive in word, they will surely backslide. They will surely fail God. Did you see it? But the good thing is, the gospel arrive, the gospel that we receive is not just in word, but in power, in the Holy Ghost, and much assurance. That is why, when they follow the apostles, as they follow God, they receive the word in much affliction and joy of the Holy Ghost. So without the Holy Ghost, there's no joy and then they have this affliction and pain. Praise God. I believe with all of my heart, they would backslid. They would stop in serving God. Because you cannot continue to serve God, praise God, without the joy of the Holy Ghost. It is the joy of the Holy Ghost that keeps you going. It is the presence of the Holy Ghost that keeps us going. Yes, praise God, when we serve the Lord, when we start to serve the Lord, there are trials and tribulations. Jesus already told in the Gospel of John 16.33, He said, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So the people in Thessalonica received the word in affliction, but there is a catch there. Even though they are afflicted, praise God, they are being persecuted, Yet there is joy in the Holy Ghost. Praise God. James chapter 1 verse 2, the Bible said, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Actually, praise God, in the original uh, Greek text, praise God, um, where am I? In uh, 1 Thessalonians 1.6. In 1 Thessalonians 1.6, the word joy there, praise God, is gladness. The joy that received from you or the cause of occasion of joy, praise God, or 
you have joy because it was given to you. Praise God. There are, we can create joy, inside, gladness inside, and it comes from you by your understanding or the, there is joy inside. But it's different when that joy comes from the Holy Ghost. It is given and you receive it. Praise God. That is the kind of joy that will keep you going. Praise God. Hallelujah. James 1.3, the Bible said, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. And the Bible said, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Where did it begin? Joy. Joy. Count it all joy. Okay? I will emphasize this. Praise God. Okay. Look at that verse. Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. The Bible did not say, count it all joy when you face. The word here is fall. This is much uh, as if you're in, you are in, in the tribulations or temptations, but you are overcoming it as you count it as joy. Praise God. And the Bible said, if you have that, praise God. Uh, verse 3, the Bible said, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work it patience, and then patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, one thing, nothing. Praise God. Let's go back to the letter of Paul to the Thessalonian church. So that, and because they received the gospel, not just in word, in power, Holy Ghost, and mass assurance, and they received it in affliction, yet they have joy in the Holy Ghost. What happened is that, uh, Paul said, so that ye were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. The church in Thessalonica become a pattern, becomes an example, becomes a model, praise God, that in spite of pressures and tribulations, they are still happy, they are still glad, praise God. So they become an example to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. And what happened? From, from you, for from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia, and Achaia. But also in every place, your faith to God word is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. So Paul, Barnabas, and the rest of the, and the, rest of the crew, praise God, in, this, in their missionary journey, have no difficulty, praise God, to, you know, to encourage these, those new open works because these new open works, these Christians in Asia Minor, they heard how the Thessalonians, praise God, respond to the word of God. Praise God. That even they receive it in affliction, yet they have joy in the Holy Ghost because they know, they discern, they understand that they are being elected by God. Praise God. In other words, uh, for them, there's no way to go back. There's, there's no way, praise God, to stop. They must go on because they understand God elected them. God choose them. God pick them up for His purpose. Hallelujah. And this purpose, hallelujah, He decreed it before the foundation of the world. So tonight, I want you to understand this. Don't backslid. Don't, hallelujah, turn away from the presence of God. Why? Because God elected you. He chose you. And our job is to make it sure, hallelujah, we must be diligent to make sure of our calling and election so that if we do that, we will never fall. God, hallelujah, praise God, is so gracious to us. Hallelujah. So what happened? Uh, if the, the members of the church will just receive the word with joy in their heart, praise God. Look at verse 8. I, re I repeat it again. Read it with me slowly. For from you sounded out. There was an impact. There was a, a testimony. The word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia, Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God word is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. Paul and Barnabas, no need for them to explain more because the testimony that the Thessalonican church showed is enough. It's enough. Praise God. So New Life Fellowship Saints, your generosity in giving to the missions, your generosity in giving to the church that we can still go on in this pandemic, praise God. It is being heard abroad. Praise God. It is being heard abroad. Hallelujah. So your evangelism, your revivalist spirit, praise God, uh, yung, 
naglalagablab, praise God, na apoy ng iyong pananampalatay. It is being heard, not just in Hong Kong. Praise God. New life, saints, praise God, hallelujah. Your faith has been heard abroad. In Canada, you can find a lot of saints there that come from new life. In Europe, in Russia, praise God. In Italy, in Greece, hallelujah. And to God be all the glory. Hallelujah, praise God. Verse 9. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had into you, and how ye turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God. I, I will dwell a few minutes here, praising and hallelujah. You, you know, in Asia Minor, the Gentiles are really idol worshippers. No question, it's given. <laughs> Praise and hallelujah. So, when the gospel arrived there, and Paul, Silvanus, and Timotheus, they behave, praise God, properly. Praise God. They live and they show a Christian life. Praise God. And these Thessalonians knew exactly how they behave. Praise God. And Paul said, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you. When they approach there, when they go there, they, they walk what they, they talk, they, they, they walk their talk and they they do what they preach. Praise God. And because of that, and Paul was, and how ye turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Wow, what a testimony. And the last one that I'm going to share tonight is this. That this election of God for you and for me, praise God, is not just, hallelujah, the day that you were baptized. We are waiting now and to wait for His Son from heaven whom He raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. There is a wrath to come. And it's really, really terrible, praise God, if you read the book of Revelation. But God elected you, and you are not appointed unto the wrath of God. Hallelujah. So while we are waiting for the coming of the Son of God, hallelujah, from heaven, hallelujah. Woo! Who is that that will come? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Hallelujah. The one who was raised from the dead. And when He comes, He will deliver us from the wrath to come. Remember, we have tribulations in this world. But for the wrath to come, God will deliver us. That is the package of this election. Okay? God elected you. He elected me. And we need to know. We need to discern it. We need to understand it. Praise God. It's now a high time, praise God, to walk in the light. Praise God, hallelujah, as He is in the light. Praise God, hallelujah. So, me the Lord will bless us all. And I cannot read all these uh, so many, hallelujah. Oh, Sister Lynette and Pastor Ododel is watching from Macau. Hallelujah. And Pastor Neil Takulad. Yes, Sister Lynette, it's the joy of the Holy Ghost that keeps us going. That's true. Because the gospel came not just word only, but the gospel came also in power and in Holy Ghost and in much assurance. I repeat it again. The, the gospel came to us in much assurance. So, strengthen your heart. Believe in the word of God. Follow your leader as you follow the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, may the Lord will bless us all. Praise God. See you uh, next Tuesday. Actually, uh, Pastor Caesar unfortunately was not able to speak to us tonight because uh, he has uh, a known schedule in the hospital for like a surgery. There's a stone in Goldstone and he don't know what time the doctor or the hospital will call him, praise God, that is why uh, he canceled the schedule, praise God. And we will continue to pray that the Lord will give him good health, praise God, and the doctors that will uh, do the surgery, praise God, to take out the stones, hallelujah, it will be smooth, praise God, and uh, it will be successful. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Sister Carmelita, Sister Teresita, Praise God, Brother Admar, Emilinda, Sister uh, Sarino Pini, we miss you, Sister, Sister Ruth, Silla Batiti, Hermi Dungao, 
Praise God. Thank you for watching Jenny Dagang in London. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for uh, joining with us tonight. Sister Diane Villar. Uh, who else? Praise God. And forgive me if I cannot. Rolly Balindres. Praise God. Parang nag-usap kayo, Sister Diane, na manood ngayong gabi. Ano? Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless. Praise God. Jeffrey Sitan. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless, Pastor Neil. Uh, belated happy birthday. So tonight, praise God, uh, shall we pray all together? Praise God, hallelujah, that the Lord would continue to cover us. Praise God with His precious blood, hallelujah. Remember, God elected you. God chose you before the foundation of the world. Praise God. So be in the church, be connected with the church because that is His mystical body. Praise God, the church is predestinated. Hallelujah. So... We can do this together. We pray, praise God, one another, and by the presence and by the help of God, we can reach the other side of the shore. When the trumpet will sound, my body and your body will be, praise God, changed into immortality. Praise God, and we will be with Him forever. So let us strengthen ourselves with these promises. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, of your blessings. Thank you so much, God, hallelujah, of your mercy. Thank you of your word. Thank you that you choose us. Hallelujah. We did not choose you, but you're the first who choose us. We did not first love you, but you're the one who first loves us. God, thank you of your grace. Thank you of your mercy. Hallelujah. Bless the hearers tonight. Bless our families. Hallelujah. Uh, bless New Life Fellowship, the leadership of this church. Bless the people of this church. Hallelujah. And the churches around the world, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. That preaches the apostolic gospel. Bless the UPCI, the leadership of the UPCI missionaries around the world. Hallelujah. And bless our lives, that uh, our lives will be a great impact, a great message, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Concerning the gospel. Thank you so much, Father. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless and good night in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah.